mabuhay. Isang mainit na pagbati mula sa puso, mula sa aming lahat dito sa Bridges. Isang pagbati po ng uh, mapayapa, malusog, at uh, magandang gabi sa isang special na araw. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all our current viewers here and abroad. Good evening and good morning to all our viewers worldwide. I'm truly honored to join you tonight. And good afternoon from wherever you're at. And once again, thanks for tuning in. Good evening to all our viewers around the world. This is one of the best episodes we will have in Bridges, certainly, Ma'am Evelyn, right? Totoo yan, because tonight, we're going to feature very, you very well known natin. Oo, oh, ano kanina, nung greetings yung kanina, sabi ko, ay, worldwide pala ito, kaya dapat eh, i-cover ko lahat ng mga greetings ng morning, afternoon, and evening. First of all, I would like to thank you for inviting me. At ako yung inyong featured guest. Tumaba naman yung puso. Thank you very much for joining oh. us this very early morning there in LA. Hindi ko, pin hindi, hindi ko nga pinagtulog tong anak ko para gisingin lang ako. Kaya hanggang ngayon gising pa sila. <laughs> Siyempre, kailangan ko munang batiin ang ating mga kasamahan na tumasino dito sa Bicol. Ang mga tumasinong Bicolano, marami po sa kanilang nanonood ngayon. Maraming salamat sa inyong pag-invite sa akin dito at magandang gabi. At thank you sa mga viewers. I'm so glad po and it's really a big privilege to be here po in this episode of Bridges. Salamat sa magandang pagpapakilala. May kulang po doon. Sa UST Hospital din po ako pinanganak. Kaya talagang <laughs> tumatag po ako. Tumasyan! <laughs> Tumasyan all the way! Welcome to the show! Ang ganda pa naman ang sinabi ko, hindi pa na narinig. So, hi everyone and nice to be back! I'm so glad to be here on Bridges. At naway uh, magkaroon tayo lang uh, mga fruitful na pag-usapan. So, yeah. Father, good afternoon! Marami pa mga, mga youth ngayon, mga kabataan, mga K-pop. Anong sa'yo! Magandang gabi din sa ating mga Hello, Tomasians and all those who are watching. I'm glad for trusting me <laughs> for this particular um, very important topic. Alam <laughs> natin ng mga yes. bridges na katulad ninyo at maraming pong tumutulong sa ating uh, mga uh, adhikain. Distinguished the Masham Alumni Night, the occasion that showcases our solidarity, our strength. We know that there is strength in numbers, and for those of us joining organizations, we do so because we believe that in any endeavor, alone, we can only do so much. But when we join others, the possibilities of what can be done become greater. This is true whether we are rendering service to others or simply wanting to give back to our alma mater. This is the spirit that has brought the distinguished The Mashin Alumni Night, TD Tan, to life. This now yearly testimonial dinner hosted by the USD Alumni Association in partnership with the USD Office of Alumni Relations is in honor of our distinguished The Mashin alumni and creates an opportunity for solidarity among them. Tonight, we gather once again as one family and honor those among us who have gained respect and admiration in their life and work after passing through the arch of the centuries and out into the world.
tonight, we're broadcasting live here at the University of Santo Tomas. And this is the uh, uh, BG Pop building where we are now doing the seventh distinguished Tomasian Alumni Night. And I have with me, no less than the president of the UST Alumni Association, Dr. Evelyn Sonko. Hi, ma'am. How do you feel about this? Hello. I am so happy. And I can see that all those people, the guests that we have, they're also all excited. All excited. We'll talk about yes. that excitement. I have also with me Attorney Dwight Ramos, the chairperson of the 7th Distinguished Tomasian Alumni Night. Hi, sir. How Hi. do you feel about seeing all these people coming excited together? Excited as well. And uh, of course, uh, good evening, good morning, and good afternoon to all our viewers. Yeah, this is Bridges. This had, uh, this was launched during the 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 peak of the pandemic. Yes, yes. Pang ilan na kayang season natin to? Na do, do you still remember the first, the first episode the first we had? The first episode that we had, that was October Five. October put, 5 of 2021. October 20, yeah, correct, correct. 2021. Yes. And hindi pa masyadong marunong mag-zoom lahat. <laughs> Di ba? Remember that moment? I could remember yeah. that. But, yes. you know, when we speak, ma'am, of the Ditan, the last gathering before this one, na nandito tayo, was what year? Attorney. Uh, well, uh, that was 2019. 2019. 2019. Yes. I was there. Yes. I was, yes. I, I was here you 2019. Are... You are one of the distinguished Somatian alumni. I was late because yeah. I was awarded the year before. Yes, as total. Because award. I total total for 17. 18 yeah. would have oh. been my Ditan, yes. but I got it in the 19. 19. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. right. yeah. And uh, Mom, explain to us what is the distinguished Somatian alumni night? Well, the distinguished Somatian alumni night started before the before the uh, quadricentennial. No? Okay. Because Dr. C would like to gather the distinguished Somatian alumni because he would like to drum beat our quadricentennial. Okay. And then later on, we saw that it was very good bringing together mm -hmm. the distinguished Somatian alumni. Mm -hmm. And so we continued with it. And now we see that it is good to really recognize our distinguished Tomasian alumni. Right, and we have like five every college. Yes. All five every college. and Maximum, maximum. Maximum of five. Yes. And uh, th there were lesser, no? May mga kontila. May mga tatlo. Tatlo, yes. apat, you know. But uh -oh. five is the maximum. And Correct. we do this every year. Yes. yes. So this is the seventh. And so I suppose for every college, seven times, seven times five is like 35 awardees now. Mm. Okay, but this is not the total awards. Let's no, no. let's let's differentiate. No, uh, tell no. us about that attorney Dwight. What's the difference of yeah. the, the the ditan with the with the total? Yeah, first of all, the total is given by the university. Okay. Yung ditan naman is given by the alumni association. Mm -hmm. Pero yung qualifications halos the same lang yan. All right. And uh, this is actually uh, a scouting point for yeah. total awardees. Yeah. Kaya yeah. pag nagditan ka na then you are already being looked at also to become a total award. Total award. Yeah. But, but also, yes. mm. whether or not you are already total awardee, mm -hmm. but you know, the alumni associations would like to recognize you. Correct. Like a so you, no yes. na yung total ko yes. before you did that. And uh, in both of this, mm -hmm. we are partners with yes. each other. So partner natin, ang magka-partner palagi, USDAAI and the university. Yeah. And, and how? Through the uh, OAR. Yes, yeah. always. What, what excites you about uh, tonight, you know, Dr. Songpo? Well, what is exciting is that uh, you can see the distinctions mm -hmm. among the different alumni mm -hmm. and all uh, uh, distinguished mm -hmm. alumni and all of them really deserve to be recognized. Ayun, so... Nakakatuwa lang kasi, nakita mo na ang gagaling nila, pero very humble. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. At saka, alam mo, it's really glamorous. Parang ikaw yun. <laughs> this is very glamorous kasi behind me, nakikita nyo kung lahat. Ayan, uh, kasi so, so, cards were in Filipiniana. Ayan, yes. Filipiniana. Ang ganda-ganda mo, Ma'am Evelyn, as usual. At look at us in our barong. Alam mo, dati, nung ginawa natin ito last time, Nakabarong tayo, pero I'm sure naka-shorts tayo. Because the last time it was virtual. Virtual. Yeah, yeah. Virtual lang tayo. At ang galing-galing mo nun. No, no. no. Oh, kasi nasa... At para tayong nasa show correct, or something. Correct, correct. Yes. Ngayon, we're broadcasting live. I hope you're staying on because uh, we will be continuously covering yes. this. And uh, this is Bridges of the USC Alumni Association. Uh, giving you some updates on what's happening here at the BG Pop of the University of Santo Tomas. Thank and you. special shout out to, of course, sino mga gusto natin pasalamatan? Oy, shout out sa lahat ng presidents na mga member alumni associations of mm -hmm. USD AAI. Okay. Shout out syempre kay Dr. Robert C. Of course. Uh, lagi yan. Because he was the one, he is actually the one responsible 
in sustaining the U the the distinguished Samashan alumni night. All right, so papakawalan ko na kayo uh, because I know you're so busy. I'll, I'll get through. this. I'll okay. have other guests. Uh, Tony, mm -hmm. you may also socialize because I know marami kang trabaho be, being our chairperson. Thank you, thank you. All right, thank Please you so much. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, so we're doing this live and uh, kaya pasensya na kayo pag may makikita kayong mga nalalaglag na mic o kaya nag-aayos ng buhok, okay? Uh, we are, by the way, in the Dr. Robert C. Grand Ballroom. And uh, this is, uh, yung dating sa mga old, old alumni, ito yung gymnasium during our time that became the alumni building already. And now I have with me the Dean of the College of Education, Dr. Pilar Romero. Hi, ma. Hello. Ditan 2022, the seventh distinguished national uh, alumni. How do you feel about tonight? I'm so excited mm -hmm. uh, and so honored mm -hmm. to be here tonight and to be counted among the great national wow, alumni. Wow, you're one of those, of course. I had the chance to interview you. Kwento natin sa kanila yung bridges total na sa bridges tayo. Yes. Naalala niyo pa ba yung first bridges na ikaw ang aming guest? Yeah. I, I thought it was going to turn out to be a disaster because my internet connection was terrible. But no, it was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> but it was an acceptable disaster. Yes, but Kasi at that time, hindi pa natin masyadong alam yun. Yes, so oh. we were kind of groping. But you oh. know, because of that smart navigation of this fellow, and also everything, we were able to get through. Nakaraos tayo. Yeah, it was a breakthrough, I, I believe. No? So, yeah. You know, that's the mark of a Tomasha. No? We are able to surmount oh. whatever challenges we have. And I still remember what you said. Mm. We are not in the we are not in the same boat. We are facing the same storm, but we are not in the same boat. We're not in the same boat. Oh uh, yeah, yo. Thank you for remembering that. And ma'am, uh, regarding being a Tomasian, you're a graduate of the College of Education. Yes. The okay. Education High School. Okay, mm -hmm. so mula high school hanggang college. Yes. What about graduate school? Yes, UST also. Ito talagang hardcore. PhD, yes. Ilang taon kayo dito? Um, well, my years of service in the mm -hmm. university. No, no, the young education. As uh, education, kasi four. Four. Oh. Eight. And then eight graduate na school. Yan. Oh. And then graduate school for oh. ye two years of MA. Okay. Oh. And then six years of PhD. So ilan yon? Six, so, seven, eight. Plus eight, 16 years, yeah, 16 years. Of, of education yes. in, in the university. And how long have you been teaching? 41 years. For, 41 years. <laughs> yes. And you're not retiring? Well, yet. in two years time. In two years time. Yes. Retirement means you will put on a new tire. Tire. Yes. tire. <laughs> this is life. Kaya mga dumadaan na mga tao. Retire. Ito naman kasi mga to, nakaabang dito. Hindi nila tinatawag yung... Anyway, how does it feel to be working here for 40 years? 42 uh, years? Well, um, first it was a struggle. No? Uh -huh. I was very young then. And mm -hmm. you know, when you're young, there are some people who may not be accepting. Mm -hmm. But eventually, you know, I got the groove. Okay. And well, I would always go to the chapel before I go to my class. And that really helped me a lot. Yeah, no? spirituality. Did, no? Yes. Ma Matibay tayo doon. Yes, as yes. As Tomasha. Mm -hmm. Yan refuge talaga natin. Para, no? talaga. Our faith. Uh -oh. What's the best lesson you have learned as a student of uh, the College of Education at the university that you think you learned and that's why you are you are where you are? Nobody's indispensable. Oh, uh, that's yeah. being a student, huh? Yeah, yeah, okay. being a student. My my uh, regent would always tell me, you know, Pilar, you're the mm. leader now, mm. no? but eventually you will not be a leader. There will be a new leader that will be coming after you. So don't okay. hold on too much to position. Correct. Okay, so that's as a student. That's as what a student. I now, as, as as of a faculty, mm. as a an employee of UST, what have you learned? Um. Learn how to be patient and mm. persevering. All right. Because you know, if you are persevering, you will reap the fruits of your effort. And you consider this as Tomasian values within yes, you. Yes, yes. Persevering. Tayo, eh, no? Hindi uh -oh. tayo nag-give up agad. All right. And all the baha and all that. Okay. Congratulations, <laughs> Dean Pilar God. Romero, retiring in two years, but yes. I don't think she will end her stint in UST. Siguro yung tipong inaakay na tayo gusto pa natin mumalik. <laughs> Thank you so That's much true. for joining me. Thank you very much. Thank yeah, you this has been Bridges, and uh, thank you so much. Okay. And I'll get this. Okay. Okay. And now we are. Thank we you. have with us Dr. Maria Socorro Ignacio. Did I get it right? Yes. Hi. That's hello, ma'am. From the College of Education. Education. Then, okay. Yes. How long did you study in UST? Um, 
1977. I okay. don't know how to compute that. Uh -huh. But since then, I've been involved in government service, Department of Health, mm -hmm. uh, USA, mm -hmm. and now uh, with UP Manila College of Public Health. Wow. So back to the next shift came from education to health. What what happened? What? Because I graduated, uh, I took uh, BSNB, BSFN, uh, that time, 1977. Ah, okay. Food and Nutrition. Oh, College of Food and Nutrition is was with the College of Education. That's right. That's okay, right. I remember that time. Yeah. So, and that's why you're now with the Department of Health. Uh, I'm sorry, with 15 with, years ago. 15 years ago, then yeah. you went to UP and you're teaching there. Uh, yes. Still Sorry, teaching please. there. Still. Teaching. Okay. Mom, question. The, the question that I'm, um, I'm I'm tasked to ask is, uh, what is the what was the best lesson of being a student of UST that you think you learned and that's why you are where you are? Well, uh, it taught me values of mm -hmm. excellence, mm -hmm. integrity, mm -hmm. and um, you know, with those principles that I value most and mm -hmm. that I exhibit, mm -hmm. I think I excel mm -hmm. in my field uh, as nutritionist dietitian of the Department of Health for right. 15 years. Mm -hmm. And after that, I've been engaged with different uh, development uh, organizations, mm -hmm. ADB World Bank Projects, mm -hmm. USAID, and after retiring, uh, um, in USA project, I joined UP to teach. Okay, yeah. so retirement meant to you putting on a new tire so exactly. that you can teach in UP exactly. from where you went. Uh, exactly. Okay. Uh, what about? Uh, did you work in USC at any a given time? Uh, no. no, I have been no. invited to teach at okay. the College of Education, mm -hmm. but uh, they want me to teach mm -hmm. on weekdays. All right. Uh, which uh, uh, the, my organization that time will not allow me. All right. Because that's double compensation, uh -oh. I suppose. So we're, we're happy to have you. And of course, your last position with the Department of Health was you were head of the Nutrition Promotion Advocacy. I was in charge of the promotion of iodine salt nationwide. Wow. And that's why we. Mm. Wala nang masyadong nagkaroon ng uh, uh, iodine. Yes, no, that's yeah, correct. Yeah, that's that's correct. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. We have uh, Dr. Maria Socorro. Ed, Ignacio. Ed, Ignacio. Thank, Thank you for you so having much. me. Thank Dr. you. This is the Bye. Bridges. And now we will have uh, Dr. Henry O. Hi, Doc. Hello. Hi. How are you Hi. doing? Hi. Very good. Very Hi. fine. This is Bridges, Hi. and we're broadcasting live Hello. in the alumni page. Hi. And uh, Bridges was born at the peak of the pandemic, and now it's getting followings yeah. in social media. And that's why we would like to interview live as you are here. So, College of? College of Pharmacy, uh, Department of Medical Technology. And at the time. Yes. Okay. And uh, how long did you stay in university to study? Uh, four years from 1978 to 1982. Okay. My wife is also a product of the College of Pharmacy. Oh. But she's now a doctor of medicine. You're now a doctor of medicine. Uh, right? Doctor of philosophy, PhD. Doctor of philosophy. So, uh, the usual question to Athamasian is what, what, are, what were those lessons you've learned when you were in the university that uh, you think you you used to be where you are now? Yeah, what the I, I actually carry what I like to share is I carry the Athamasian seal. Mm -hmm. I am a I practice servant leadership okay. where I. I am concerned for the needs of other people, mm -hmm. especially for my students, for mm -hmm. my faculty, mm -hmm. because uh, that has been my profession as a professor. Mm -hmm. I'm a clinical professor and the executive director of health occupations at Idaho State University oh, okay. in the U.S. Uh, so you flew just for this? Yes. All right. How, how did you feel? When was the last time you were here before this one? Uh, Before the pandemic, was it? Uh, five, five years ago, in 2017. And you just flew to the Philippines to receive this honor to, tonight? To, to receive this, but uh, I, I was also invited to be a, their guest speaker yesterday. I did a lecture presentation to good. the faculty and uh, the students. Very nice. And, yeah. and, and even as you went uh, overseas, I mean, in the United States, uh, you carry that Thomasian spirit. Yeah. How, how did you feel touching down from your plane and realizing that you're back home? Uh, I, I feel so super excited to be home mm -hmm. and to come uh, visit my alma mater. Yeah. Super excited. I'm, I, I really feel honored and humbled uh, for this uh, recognition. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, what, what, what's your favorite memory of uh, UST? Which part of UST is your favorite? My favorite memory is the, the uh, professors that I okay. interacted, especially uh. the... I, 
actually met two, two of my best professors here. Wow. They, are, they are here tonight. Name them, name them. Come on. <laughs> uh, Ma'am Manansala and Ma'am uh, Sarile. All right. And uh, you remember them for what? For being strict, being motherly. What? What? What is it that you remembered? Oh, they are really good in uh, as a professor. Mm -hmm. The way, the quality of teaching. Okay. The, 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 the competencies that they yeah. were able to transfer to you. Yes. All right. And uh, if you will tell stories to your friends in the United States when you're back home, what will be that story that uh, will be told? The my experience. I, I really enjoyed my time yesterday when I mm. was delivering my lecture presentations. Mm. There was so much ex uh, exchange. There was so much active engagement. Mm -mm. That's it's very uh, meaningful to me. Very right. significant. Okay. And when are you flying back home? Uh, on December 2. Okay, so quite soon. Mm. Yeah, and enjoy, and of course, please continue to be to bring pride to the Philippines by being the best of who you are out there. Uh, I will. Actually, the dean is uh, going to submit a resolution uh, to the faculty council to mm. uh, call it uh, Dr. Henry O. Lecture. All right, very good. Mm -hmm. And alive at that. It's not a memorial lecture like the yeah. others. Yeah. So, yeah. Congratulations. Uh, thank and, you. Uh, Regards of our Kababayans in the yeah. United States. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Henry O. Well, okay, from Idaho. Idaho. Okay. okay, thank you so much. And now we have Dr. Jose Victor Torres. Hi, Doc. Hi, Carl. Hello. Hi. Nice hi. to see you. Uh, thank you so much for being here. This is The Bridges, and we're broadcasting so that we can capture some reaction. This is our our broadcasting platform of the alumni. Oh. So you're from what college? I'm from the College of Arts and Letters, AB. Okay. AB graduate All right, ako, at, uh, batch, uh, batch, 80, uh, batch 87. Okay, how long did you stay in the university to study? Well, actually I took up my MA here and also hmm. my PhD. Okay, so, the so I uh, graduated, uh, I entered USC 83. Mm -hmm. I graduated around 2001, 2002. Okay. No? So oh, so Tagal, tagal din. That's how many, a decade. <laughs> yeah, more, so more, than a decade. Uh, more than a decade. Okay, and what did you carry? What What did you pick up from the university that brought you to where you are now? It's it's a challenge, you know, because um, UST carries a very good reputation mm. among uh, in education, mm. and of course, being a historian, mm. uh, UST has been part of Philippine history. Alak yes. ng ano? Alak ng burden, ano? Ng All right. Dadalhin. So your your specialization is history. Yeah, and, Philippine and history. Then, you're coming from a university where Rizal was, yeah, uh, where, where the oldest building is. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> oldest building and is. Then, uh, and uh, who else studied here? Uh, Borgos, Jose okay. Borgos studied uh, here, Manuel Quezon, mm. and of course, uh, Diosdado Macapagal. No? Okay. So we, we had the whole range of uh, personalities from uh, UST and in UST, you know, uh, from our Philippine history. So imagine being uh, coming from a university with very rich history, and then you became a historian. Mm. Then uh, I mean, uh, it, it's really a burden to to be true to where you come from and to where you were heading. Actually, yes, uh, it, it, from where you're heading, because mm. dalawo pangalan eh, uh, ng uh, UST at uh, yung uh, research. I love UST because of research, no? mm. because we have the richest archives here mm -hmm. and the biggest one of the biggest libraries here. No? Of Kaya, course. Uh, even from outsiders, no, maganda mag-research dito. And mm. it, the valuable part of our history is also stored here. Yeah, that's and, very uh, unique of you because the others have interviewed their educators, mm. you know, uh, um, professors, yeah. et, et cetera. In your case, you're a historian. And of course, we came through a period of time where history was you know, was put into a lot of challenge. Yeah, a lot of like, challenges. Like uh, revisionism, distortions, mm. and fake news, etc. How, how, how did you bring along the Tomasian core values as we navigated that part of our history? Actually, ang nakakatawa dito is uh, in spite of all the revisionism and uh, all of the changes that happened in our history, mm. no? especially the challenges today, mm. halos lahat din ebidensya na sa UST. Yeah, <laughs> so no, you can, you can easily verify everything uh -huh. no, within the archives. And I'm seeing... Let's bring her. Mam Ma Ida Chonko is here. Mam Ida, come on, this is live, but we were in, we, we want to be interrupted by you. Ah. Ka, ka, come closer, sir. Hi, Hi, ma ka, ma you ma speak in my microphone. You can, you can speak in yes. my microphone. Ito po ang isa sa punong abala. Uh, the one of, actually, one of the reasons why Bridges is alive for the alumni. Oh. Uh, we, we had good stories, like we're talking about history. Yeah. Oh. Before, ma'am, di ba? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah this is, oh. Ma'am, pakita ka daw ng face. Pakita tayo ng face uh. para makita. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, this is Ma'am Ida Chonko, our former president of the USC Nursing Alumni Association, but she's now the vice president of the 
UST Alumni Association. Thank you. How do you, yes. you feel seeing this, seeing all of well, this? Well, I'm overwhelmed and I'm so happy that uh, I see a new batch of uh, honorees mm. here. Yeah. And they're really, uh, well, I would say, Distinguished. And this is <laughs> this is history. Yes. Ah, uh, history is making. Uh, many Tomasians have become. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. Many thank you. many Tomasians have become uh, part of history. Mm. Major part of history, aside from Rizal and so on. Mm. Who do you think is um, a Tomasian whose contribution in in Philippine society is not well spoken of, but should be spoken well? Well, loud and clear. Well, we are still discovering new things about Jose Rizal. Mm -hmm. I just finished a book on a new book on Jose Rizal, no? Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, some of the um, some of the historical personages who are mm -hmm. minor characters here, mm -hmm. who uh, eventually would uh, carry a lot of weight in our history. No, mm -hmm. for example, um, many of the secretaries of foreign affairs mm -hmm. graduated from here, no? Okay. And of course, many of the uh, cabinet members of our previous administrations. Mm -hmm. Some of them graduated yeah. really from here, no? so mm -hmm. they carry their they carry their values with them, mm -hmm. the, the knowledge of history, and of mm -hmm. course the knowledge of being a Tomasian mm -hmm. with them. Yeah. So it's still Rizal who is an, our anchor towards, you know, greater appreciation of uh, yeah what uh, I mean who has done a, a lot for the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For, for now mm -hmm. among all Tomasians. Uh, what's your message to our to our Kababayans uh, pers in the perspective, especially now that you're uh, a distinguished Tomasian alumni awardee? And uh, we're talking of uh, your expertise in history. What's your message to all of us? Oh, mahalin po natin ang ating kasaysayan. No? Kasi ang ating kasaysayan, ang siya nagbibigay ng identity sa atin at siya nagkipapakilala sa atin bilang mga Pilipino. Kung hindi dito, pati sa buong mundo. Yeah, sabi nga, the distance by which you can travel forward is only proportionate to the distance that you can look back. Yeah. So the farther <laughs> we look back, the farther we can move forward. Yeah. Thank you very we... much. Thank at, you very uh, much. Dr. Jose. Uh, Victor Torres, thank you so much. Nasaan ang Lando? Nasaan ang mga tao dito malang na mag-traffic ka, di ba? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll get the microphone from you. Yeah. Okay, and uh, all right. Um, okay, we'd like Mom Ra Rani Aquino. Yes. Hi, Fa Father. I, I know you. <laughs> You're often into the Oh, yeah, yeah. Hello, po. This is the Bridges. Okay. And we're broadcasting in the alumni page. Okay. This, this was born of the... Oops. This was born of the pandemic. Yeah. And uh, this is our way to communicate. Now we're here. How did you feel entering the venue and seeing everyone? Well, odd. I was odd. And mm. at the same time, very grateful that USD was... Uh, was uh, Honoring its distinguished alumni, mm -hmm. and I feel privileged to be part of this group. Yeah, yeah. and uh, how was your, how was the journey of, uh, uh, of your life through this pandemic? It was difficult, uh, but uh, on the other hand, as a priest, I had to help keep our community up, mm -hmm. and I did this largely through celebrating masses online, mm -hmm. uh, giving lectures online. In fact, uh, as Dean of the Graduate School of Law of San Beda University, we continued classes online. Okay. Yes. So your role is to really shepherd your community because yes. many communities were at a loss that's at, at that time. That's Father, true. let's move a little here. No, 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 towards me, towards me. Yeah, there. And Father, um, you know, you, you were shepherding communities for not only, of course, it's different from a father of a home perspective, but in your case, it's the spiritual really, side, yes. which was very much hit and, you know, suffered the blow of the pandemic. Yes. Yeah. But also, uh, also, also physically, mm. we had to take care of their needs, we had to take care of the needs of people, mm -hmm. and see to it that they don't feel left out. Yeah. That is very important. Yeah. And, and uh, gathering the best Tomasian alumni right here and having you here with us as well uh, is sending a message to the world that we're... You know, we're, we're back and yes. everything seems to be okay. Yes. Yeah. And uh, what was that part of uh, your education in UST that you thought you learned and you carried through up to now? Well, in the Faculty of Arts and Letters at that time, when we were studying philosophy, it was this very rigid brand of uh, Thomistic philosophy. And 
the kind of dedication to excellence in studies. Talagang excellence. That, you know, I've heard that word excellence three times already. Yes. From like seven people I've interviewed. With excellence in studies. Two. Come on. Uh, How, what's your definition of excellence being a priest? Excellence in being a priest is first of all giving yourself totally to the priesthood. Okay. You cannot be half heartedly a priest. Mm -hmm. You have to be a priest completely and um, that means dedicated to serving God and mm -hmm. serving the church. Yeah, what's your message to all the Fumasians uh, who will watch this program and this uh, interview? What's your message to all of us as, uh, as a U priest? UST remains the home of a very great people but more importantly, it's the home of caring and serving people. Well, caring, serving people, it's, it's, and it's home. Thank you very much, Father. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Pa. Okay, I'd like to bring in, yeah, maybe one of my favorite interviews with tonight. I'll go back to my favorite. This is Parsons. I introduce her. She's the first lady who injected the first COVID vaccine to a patient from UK. What's, how did you feel being here tonight? Oh, it's really nice to be with my fellow Tomashans. And actually, it's Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And also with people that are actually um, the best of the best in Tomashans and celebrating each other. Um, I think it's a great place to be, to be actually inspired and to, um, to know that you can go in great heights because you can see the people that are in here that are already there. You know, uh, your presence is a proof that age is not a requirement to greatness. Your young aunt, sorry to ask, but no, you, you're much younger because I graduated in 91 Apo. and you graduated a, 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 decade, a decade after. Nine years, uh, Nine years after, so I know your age. <laughs> no, but you know, it, you don't have to be very old to be recognized. Absolutely. And you're, being, you're one of the youngest, in fact being recognized. Wow. Yes, the distinguished Tomasian alumni. Tell us about your journey while you were so close. The others may not have heard about a Tomasian who sat next to the Queen, Queen Elizabeth, to receive the Gold Cross, the George Cross Medal. Tell us more about that. Well, actually, when I went to, met, to meet the Queen to receive the uh, George Cross uh, on behalf of all the NHS England staff members, it was such a, a phenomenal event, in not just in my life, but also representing nurses, not just nurses, but to mass of nurses. Yes. I think, <laughs> absolutely. I think wherever I go, I am really, really proud of being a Filipino as well as equally a Tomasha nurse. I think Tomasha nurses are the best of the best and I'm hoping that this shows to everyone, especially our Tomasha nurses, that you are the cream of the crop. Wow, you hearing that from her. You know, when the first time I saw a woman, a Filipina sat by the queen, and a nurse at that, I was already proud. Then came that congratulatory message from uh, the College of Nursing that you, you're an, a Tomasian, that made me even more proud. Yeah, so, and thank you for calling us what? The cream of the crop. Absolutely. And you can attest to that, having worked with so many, oh, yeah. I think everyone knows in the UK, especially in the NHS, when you come from the Tomasian um, group, you are the best. Yes, and, uh, uh, what was that lesson of uh, uh, of being a nursing student that you think you still carry with you right now? I think uh, the lesson is that actually when you look at patients and you deal with patients, it's looking after them as differently your you know your family as well as remembering the fact mm. that actually it's how you make those people feel and the positive impacts that you have on not just on themselves, the patients, but also that ripples through to their families, the communities. These are the effects of a Tomasian nurse in our communities and it's immense. So that's what I try and remember that you change people's lives one patient at a time. I, and you learned that while you were a student. Yes. And the thing about you is that you were you were not only a student of nursing for four years, but you also became a staff nurse in USC. Absolutely. USD. What was your most pleasant moment, pleasant experience of uh, of USD? Uh, the most pleasant, but there's so many. No, so many. Just I, I name, name one. The most pleasant one, <laughs> I think the one that I would rem always remember is when I did my first RLE mm -hmm. and I actually went and assisted a, an old gentleman to go through a procedure uh -huh. and finding out that he might have cancer or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Pero yung appreciation that he actually gave me as a student, as somebody who who may not be very proficient in nursing yet because oh. I'm still learning <laughs> but the fact that I made such a difference to his experience while he was there while he's in his most vulnerable time I think he said to me that I will never ever uh, 
You yeah. remember your name, mm -hmm. but I will always remember how you made me feel. Ah, I love it. That's I know. That's really how it is, no? Okay. You will forget the person, but not the memories of Absolutely. that. Absolutely. The feeling. Absolutely. Yeah. Your favorite spot in USD? Um, yung pung ano, yung pung pavilions in the front, because that's where we uh -oh. try and enjoy, and also on top of all the commitments and all this the studying, that is where we become really students of the College of Nursing, yeah. where we experience being teenagers, mm -hmm. where we experience all the hardships, but also love. And you you lectured yesterday. You were okay. part of the Dean Bakala, Dean, Dean Jesus Bakala Memorial Lecture. And uh, I left earlier because I had a show, but I heard that, you know, students were, saw, saw the J-Lo in you or, you know, the... <laughs> And they really, talaga yeah. down having oh, cool. pictures with oh, you. How cool. did you feel about that? I was more than happy to actually mm. be there with them. And I did say that to them, that actually if there's anything that I can do for them to support them, the questions, any anxiety about anything to do with nursing, I said I'm more than happy to be available to them. And this is something that I want to want to make them remember, that there will always be someone there that can help you mm. on top of everything else that you're worried about. We are here as yeah. nurses, as yeah. the ones, <laughs> as the master nurses that's come before you. All we right. are always going to be here for you. Yeah, and tomorrow, yeah, I'll tell you the itinerary of May Parsons because I arranged it. <laughs> tomorrow, she is going to be a presenter in the Eddie's Award, and this is the Editor's Guild of the Philippines in Entertainment, and she will be handing some. You know, some trophies to some celebrities, and she will be stargazing. <laughs> I don't know if you still remember these celebrities, but I, I speak of Richard Gomez. Yes, oh. And Coco Martin. I'm sure you'll still have that killing. Yes. Even uh, as Filipina. Yes. Then on always. Monday, she will receive the special citation uh, on mm -hmm. the floor of, uh, first, of course, during the flag ceremony of the uh, city of Manila. Then we will proceed to a webinar. Watch out with webinar tomorrow about the resilient nursing leadership with the Philippine Nurses Association. Then after that, we'll go to the floor of the legislative building of Pasay City where you grew up. Yes. And she will be receiving another citation and she will travel to the north and travel to the south and she'll be like, talking to some nurses. If you want to catch her, please um, just follow Carl Balita public figure page. And we'll have update you about this this heroine, okay, uh, who will receive the honor tonight. What's your final message to us? Um, for the Tomasha nurses, for the past and present, continue to be proud of who you are and continue to share the learning, share the experience, and be the best of the best because you are. May Parsons, ladies and gentlemen, Chapo Ang, George Cross Medal recipient in behalf of the National Health Services of UK. Receiving it from Queen Elizabeth and King Charles. So she's a relic. She's a royal relic. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the company. Thank you. Hi, ma'am. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. We have with us Ma'am Margarita Cruz. Is it? Ma'am Margarita Cruz. Ano pong college? Well, alam na yaka na yung no, college of Education. College of Education. At the same time, mm. I work in the library. All right. So, so, that was I taught also at UST High School. Okay. So you were a, a librarian. Yeah. In UST. Yeah. How long? Head, did you... head librarian ako ng Pilipinas section. Okay. So ilang taon po kayo nagwork bilang librarian sa? Ah, uh, siguro mga four, five. Anong year? Mga anong year coverage po nun? Kasi ko lang malaman kasi, kasi gusto ko malaman kung. Kasi naging oh. nagworking student ako. Opo. Kasi we could not afford. Mm. That was that is the uh, that was 1961. Oh, 1961. 1961 up to tapos, 1965 professional nako. Uh -huh. I applied to UST High School. Okay. At the same time, I was uh, appointed as head librarian of the Filipiniana section. Mm -hmm. I had also a chance to work the archives with mm -hmm. Father Villaruel. Ah, oh, so ilang dekada mo yun? Matagal. <laughs> Spanish section. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, I, was, I was also sent to Spain by, by the university in right. no, 1970. So, uh, yeah. yeah. We're about to begin the program. We have to cut here. Okay. Of course, we have with us Mama Margarita Cruz, a librarian for decades in UST. Okay. Thank you very much, Mom. Thank you okay, for yes. this interview. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. We would like to say thank you. We appreciate you for coming here, making time, great taking this, and traffic to that just to be here with us this evening. But tonight is not just any other gathering. This evening, we will celebrate our full imagines in their exemplary works that we a huge impact in their respective teams. If you will kindly go to your left and to your right, Humility, 
will be an honor their most significant accomplishments that are worth emulating by their fellow alumni, students, and the generations to come. With that, let me officially welcome you to distinguish the National Alumni Night 2022. Mabuhay! Isang mainit na pagbati mula sa puso, mula sa aming lahat dito sa Bridges. Isang pagbati po ng uh, mapayapa, malusog at uh, magandang gabi sa isang special na araw. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all our current viewers here and abroad. Good evening and good morning to all our viewers worldwide. I'm truly honored to join you tonight. Good afternoon from wherever you're at and once again, thanks for tuning in. Good evening to all our viewers around the world. This is one of the best episodes we will have in Bridges, certainly, Ma'am Evelyn, right? Totoo yan, because tonight, we're going to feature very, you very well known natin. Oo, oh, ano kanina, nung greetings yung kanina, sabi ko, ay, worldwide pala ito, kaya dapat eh, i-cover ko lahat ng mga greetings ng morning, afternoon, and evening. First of all, I would like to thank you for inviting me. At ako yung inyong featured guest. Tumaba naman yung puso. Thank you very much for joining Hello. us this very early morning there in LA. Hindi ko, pin hindi ko nga pinagtulog tong anak ko para gisingin lang ako. Kaya hanggang ngayon gising pa sila. <laughs> Siyempre, kailangan ko munang batiin ang ating mga kasamahan na tumasino dito sa Bicol. Ang mga tumasinong Bicolano, marami po sa kanilang nanonood ngayon. Maraming salamat sa inyong pag-invite sa akin dito at magandang gabi. At thank you sa mga viewers. I'm so glad po and it's really a big privilege to be here po in this episode of Bridges. Salamat sa magandang pagpapakilala. May kulang po doon. Sa UST Hospital din po ako pinanganak. Kaya talagang <laughs> tumatag po ako. Tumasyan! <laughs> Tumasyan all the way! Welcome to the show! Ang ganda pa naman ang sinabi ko, hindi pa lang narinig. So, hi everyone and nice to be back! I'm so glad to be here on Bridges. At naway uh, magkaroon tayo lang uh, mga fruitful na pag-usapan. So, yeah. Father, good afternoon! Marami bang mga, mga youth ngayon, mga kabataan, mga K-pop? Panyong sa'yo! Magandang gabi din sa ating mga 
fellow Tomasians and all those who are watching. I'm glad for trusting me <laughs> for this particular um, very important topic. Alam po natin ng mga yes. bridges na katulad ninyo at maraming tumutulong sa ating uh, mga uh, adhikain. <laughs>